Dr. Cortex. We haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall raise... Unfortunately, Cortex, you won't. We are closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex. <laughs> Dr. Cortex... The Vortex is not ready! We have no Probably idea. should have listened to Embryo. Failure again! Capture him. I do love the fact that they decided to put a uh, crash in the machine while wearing pants. I see you've changed your name to Subtitle Guy. I approve of this. I approve of this greatly. Yeah, but he's not really that very competent at his job. I mean, he kind of gets completely destroyed by this. So the first game of the Crash Bandicoot Trilogy, the game that started it all. I have very little memories of this game because as I said a moment ago, I preferred the second game and that's probably because of the polar bear. But then again, there is a moment in this uh, in this game which is very similar to the polar bear in the second game. Also, I am, I am, yeah, great English Titan. I am not going to be going for a hundred percent in the first game, but I am for the second and the third, mostly because I am. Not a masochist. Well, I'm not masochistic enough to try and 100% the first game because that includes going through Stormy Ascent and going through that with getting all of the boxes and very, very limited deaths. And there we go. When I was a kid, I never used to be able to do that. And I said I'm not going to be 100% in this game. And yet, I'm going for all of the boxes. Yep, well done, Titan. Because we managed to get two masks from the previous level, we get to start right off the bat with a third mask, which means invincibility, so we can get through this level relatively quickly. And one thing I forgot to mention that this game does, which the others don't, is that the sequel and the game after that have, yeah, they have crystals to collect at the uh, throughout every other level. Well, every level. Whereas in this game, you do not. Let's just get through here, jump past the rollers, and not die. Not dying is probably the best objective in this game, and die, skunk. That was probably, that was suboptimal. That was a bad plan. And kill the plant. So when I picked this up a couple of months ago, I managed to get about halfway through this game before I hit my first major roadblock. And those that major roadblock would be the bastard bridge levels I mentioned in my top five games of the year video. Poor Crash. Sorry Crash. A moment ago, I said the first major roadblock I encountered was the bastard bridge levels, but that's not exactly true because of this level. 
this level was not fun. Whoever created this level was a sadist. And the extra version of this level, the harder version of the level, which we will be getting to later on in the game, is a swine. I hate this, I hate this level almost as much as I hate the bridge level. And yes, subtitle guy, I will constantly remind you how much I love the bridge levels. So far, we are not doing too, too bad. The tur How does that even work? Okay, stay calm. You are not at the annoying bit yet. Get that, grab that. We should have a triple... Yeah, we should have a triple mask right now. But because a turtle decided to go... Hey, there's Automa Titan. Fuck Automa Titan. Don't even get me started on you. I hate these enemies. Right, I'm going to jump on you and you're going to fling me back. You're going to... Can you stop this? Bad. Annoying woman with the board. Right, grab that. Thankfully, I don't think we've died yet. I mean, yeah, I've not died yet. Right, kill the monkey and another wench with the board. I'm just going to jump on your head and spin you away. I used to have a lot more trouble with those. But thankfully, I'm not having a lot of issue with them today. These spiky things are... Well, they don't exactly look very friendly, but we can get past them. We can get past them. And bonus level, which I'm going to avoid. There we go. I know we've both watched Seven together, but I really can't remember which murder bit you're talking about. Also, spoilers! Anyway, this is the first Indiana Jones-like level, and my microphone is cutting off the bottom of my screen, so this is slightly suboptimal, but we're gonna be fine, and... Where have my masks gone? Have I lost my masks? I've probably lost my masks. Either way, this boulder is not going to kill us. Nope, no sorry. This rock is not going to flatten this bandicoot. Bland Did I just say bandicoot? I meant bandicoot. Anyway, moving swiftly on, jumping, jumping, jumping. We are not going to get flattened. And another gem. Oh yeah, the lost murder. Yes, Crash, you don't have to get pummeled by boxes that I missed. So far, yes. Although we are working... Oh, God. <laughs> I have no words to that. Please no. There are many things I would prefer other than that. Yeah, you've got me speechless right now, subtitle guy. Both of you have. I genuinely do not know what to say to this. Yeah, but that's Nerdcube Dad and Emma Blacker, and we are not either of those people. And I'm going to get consumed. No, I'm not, because I had a mask. I almost forgot that I had a mask, though. I am so sorry, Crash. You are going to get completely obliterated right now. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Anyway, we are now fighting Papu Papu, a, a relatively fat guy in a hut. Yeah, that is a accurate description of Papu Papu. He also has a stick. Come on, Papu Papu, let's fight. And by fight, I mean, you're going to spin around and I'm going to spin. 
or at least I need to remember how to attack you. I'm forgetting how to attack you. This is not ideal. I've forgotten how to attack Papu Papu. I just got killed by the easiest boss in the game. Right, there we go. One down. One hit down. Two hits down. Come on, Papu Papu. I shouldn't really mock you considering you've already killed me once. But I'm going to continue to mock you anyway because your ass is showing. Right, one more hit. One more hit and he's down and there we go. We have victory over the fat man.